What's going on guys, Brinstall31, appreciate you guys tuning in. So I'm really excited today. I'm doing something for the first time ever on my channel's history, and that is the test body armor. So I'm very fortunate, after I did the plate carrier review for HRT Tactical, the uh, company Ace Link Armor sent me some plates to uh, test out. I got both soft armor and rifle stopping plates. These are both three and three plus uh, level plates. So I've got a vast array of both com block and NATO type calibers to test on these things. So we'll see how they perform. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. All right, guys. So before we get to actually ballistically testing these, I want to give you an up close look at some of the uh, armor that Ace Link sent me. So this is their level 3A soft armor. So this stuff essentially will protect you against the vast array of pistol caliber threats. This is essentially what law enforcement officers wear on a daily basis. And this is NIJ certified, and uh, it won't do you any good against rifle caliber, but you can wear these in conjunction with a rifle caliber uh, rated plate. And then, uh, you know, you've plussed up your armor there, obviously. But these are for the torso, front and back, and then these will go in your side uh, cummerbund and uh, will provide you some side protection. So we're going to test them today against a, uh, a vast array of NATO and com block calibers and uh, see how they perform. All right, guys, so here's the first rifle caliber stopping plate I'm going to show you. This is their level 3 NIJ certified. It's supposed to stop up to M80 7.62 by 51 or any 308 with the exception of uh, armor piercing. It's a uh, 0.90 inches thick. It weighs 3.5 pounds. So that's uh, seven pounds total for the two, front and back. So it's got that nice uh, sappy plate, shooters uh, type cut. And uh, you know, it's NIJ certified, so it should be, uh, it should be pretty legit, but uh, we're gonna put it to the test here. All right, so next on the chopping block is our level three plus. It weighs 4.6 pounds. It's 0.85 inches thick, and it's supposed to stop M855 green tips. Like I said, it means that the level three won't stop green tips, uh, but we'll find out today. <laughs> it's made of a uh, polyethylene composite as well as ceramic, and uh, I believe the level three is only made of the uh, polyethylene composite. So you can see the difference in the uh, materials here and how these two plates are made. Um, but very similar in you know size and, and weight and whatnot. It's just you get a little added protection with the level three plus. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and uh, put this to the test. First up is some 115 grain nine millimeter full metal jacket. All right, let's see what we got here. So hit here. Bottom left corner. Haha, <laughs> there's the bullet right there. Let's see if I can get that out of there. That's pretty cool. Sweet. Look at that. How awesome is that? Good deal. No penetration. So, 9mm successful. Let's move on to the next caliber. All right, next one we're gonna do is a 158 grain 38 special. That is little uh, Taurus 38 special revolver. All right, so here's our impact. And it did not penetrate, I can see it in there. There it is. <laughs> That's mushroom pretty big. Get a knife and cut that sucker out. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, so 38 special has been stopped. Alright, next we got a 180 grain 40 Smith & Wesson full metal jacket. Alright, so it's right here. It stopped. And the bullet's in there. So let's get it out. Uh, it's 230 grain, 45 ACP, full metal jacket. All right, so here's the back, no penetration. Here we go, right here in the center. Ooh. 
What's in there? <laughs> there we go. 45, no go. All right, so this is 94 grain, nine millimeter Makarov. So we're getting into the commie calibers now. All right, no penetration in the back. Let's figure out where it is. Feel the round, it's up here. I'm assuming this is the bullet hole maybe. It's under, it's underneath. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not gonna be able to retrieve that one right now, but it definitely stopped it. All right, next is gonna be 7.62 by 25 millimeter. Now I have no idea what grain round this is. This is just some military surplus that I had. So <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, if any of them are gonna penetrate, I think it's gonna be this one. This is where I place my bet. So we'll see. This is a uh, Chinese type 54 based on the uh, Soviet TT-33. Let's put it to the test. All right, did not penetrate. And I'm not sure. I might have two commie rounds stuck inside there. Yes, I sure do. <laughs> so. Both of the uh, com block rounds are still stuck inside the uh, panel here. But it stopped it. Okay, so the 3A took all the pistol threads I threw at it, so I'm going to move on to shotgun here. So I got some 9 pellet double op buck. I also got a slug, uh, 12 gauge. I'm going to throw down range and uh, see how it holds up. All right, guys, we're going to do the 12 gauge slug first and see how she holds up. All right, let's check it out. Guys, look how far this thing flew. <laughs> well, oh, I, I mean, it started to protrude, but I don't think it penetrated, guys. I think it's still in there. Well, I don't know. There's something. This has got to be it right here. I would say that this is definitely a 12 gauge slug. So it stopped it, guys. It almost made it on through. Almost. You can see it's got some some breakage back here, but it held. So 12 gauge slug has stopped it. All right, so we're gonna hit it with the uh, buckshot now. Let's see what kind of performance we get. Let's go down range, check it out. All right, so it looks like it's held, guys. It's stood up to everything we've thrown at it. This is definitely from the slug, so it definitely took the pellets like a champ. <laughs> you can see them here. Nice. Let's throw uh, some 3800 blackout at it and see if it holds it. So this one is just going to be for fun. This is 300 blackout, 220 grain subsonic ammunition. So I'm going to shoot it at it and uh, let's see how it performs. I'm ex fully expecting this to penetrate, but uh, let's check it out. Go down range, check it out. All right, guys, the verdict is, <laughs> I do not see, I do not see it. It may have stopped it. Holy crap. I mean, this was from the, uh, the slug. Wow. All right, well, I got some rounds in there. I'm gonna cut this open and see what we can find. All right, so I just cut open this carrier and I'm, I'm already seeing some of the rounds in here. So I'm not sure which is which. 
but definitely got some some rounds. <laughs> so shotgun pellets. Pretty cool, you can kind of see how many layers it actually penetrated through. And there's a big one right here. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, there we go. 300 blackout. Subsonic, awesome. And here's some of the final final layers of the uh, body armor, and it still has not penetrated. You can see that? Pretty cool. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right, let's move on to some rifle plates. All right, guys, so we're moving on to level three rifle plates. So we'll start with the big dogs. We're gonna go with uh, some Malaysian military 7.62 by 51 millimeter, 146 grain. Full metal jack and ammunition. We're shooting at it out of a uh, M1A. Let's go down range, check it out. All right, guys. So it looks like it put a serious hurting on it. <laughs> but it looks like it's intact. So no penetration out the back. But obviously, you can see where it went in. It went through multiple layers. Did not fully penetrate. So, 7.62 by 51 millimeter. Stopped. All right, guys, next thing we're going to throw at it is the 7.62 by 54R 148 grain full metal jacket. Com block time. Go down range, check it out. All right, so looking at the back, I'm not seeing any penetration. It's definitely deformed. You can see that's where it went in. That's what it did inside. But no penetration up the back. God, man, that sucker. That sucker hit hard, though, boy. In the round. Partially in there. Some fragments, but other than that, it stopped it, guys. I'm gonna reform this and uh, carry on. All right, next up is gonna be your 7.62 by 39, 123 grain Wolf ammunition. I'm be firing it out of a uh, this AK-47 AKM style rifle. Let's check it out. Well guys, it definitely didn't penetrate. I didn't even think I hit it because uh, it just wiggled a little bit. <laughs> and uh, man, it's right here. So I got, I got three impacts in there. So it's in there. Definitely didn't uh, hit as hard as uh, the other two. Oh, there she glows. Ah. Look at the top. Yeah, those are 7.62 by 39, so, yep, stopped the dead cold. Nice. A little bit of a bulge, but not nearly as bad as the uh, 7.62 by 51 or 7.62 by 54R. So, get this pressed back together and uh, move it on. All right, next we have the 5.45 by 39, 60 grain full metal jacket. Out of a AK-74. All right, so right off the bat, I don't see anything in the back. I'm not sure the the holes are real up. Oh, there we go, right here. Hit it right here. So. 
You can see the uh, breaking apart, and there we go. There's our round. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> ah, man. Awesome. Well, stop the 545. All right, let's reform it, put it back up, move on. All right, guys, just want to give you an update real quick on what this plate's looking like, all right? So I've put some uh, tape around the edges because uh, it's kind of blown out at the top and the bottom, but it's still holding together. I just want to make sure the sucker makes it through, all right? Saving the best for last. We got a 5.56 coming up. I saved it for last because this is not supposed to stop the M855 green tips. Uh, so I'm going to shoot it with M193 first and then M855. Um, I did put some duct tape at the top and bottom just to keep keep this sucker together and make sure it doesn't uh, blow apart on us, all right? But it is stopping the rounds. We got a 7.62 by 51, 7.62 by 54R, 7.62 by 3.9, and then the 5.45 by 3.9. Um, it's all stopped so far. So let's carry on and see how we uh, can go. All right, guys, here we go, M193. Let's go down range, check it out. All right, so it looks like we're good. We got no penetration. Most of my stickies flew off, but I think it impacted right here. I'm pretty sure. A lot of uh, penetration right here, but did not come out the other side. So it definitely stopped it cold. M193 stopped. All right, boys. This is for the big one, M855. Let's check it out. All right, M855, green tips. Let's go down range, check it out. All right, guys. Let's see. Oh, I think we got penetration right there. Yep, so it hit in the top left corner, or actually never mind, right here, you can see, and all the way through, through there, and then out this hole. So M855 did penetrate, definitely penetrated, went right through. All right, well. Like it said, it wasn't rated for it. <laughs> so, but now you know, that's confirmed. It stopped everything but it. So, nonetheless, still pretty good. All right guys, so now that the uh, level three is out of the fight, we're gonna do the uh, level three plus. So, this is supposed to stop an M855. We're about to find out. Go down range, check it out. Oh, it's looking pretty good. No penetration on the back. Wow, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty cool in there. It's got. Uh, you can just see all the <laughs> ceramic. Yeah, it stopped it dead cold, guys. Awesome. Level three plus. Definitely is doing what it's saying. Let's. Uh, there is a huge cavity in there, though. I'm gonna hit it a couple more times and uh, let's see if it stops multiple rounds. All right, let's go down there, check it out. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Multiple impacts. Ooh, potential, potential penetration here. Other than that, it looked like it stopped all of them, but potentially one. <laughs> so, looks like it worked, worked over the uh, left side of this plate pretty good, with possibility of one penetration. So, that's pretty good, guys. So it took multiple hits. Um, I'm not sure which one actually was the one that penetrated. Maybe we can figure that out from uh, 
reviewing the footage, but overall, pretty good. It does what it says. So, awesome. Well, that's it, guys. That completes this ballistic test of this Ace Link body armor. I gotta say, I'm pretty damn impressed with the performance of the level 3A. I wasn't expecting that much out of it, and uh, I was very surprised that it stopped the 300 blackout subsonic ammunition. So, you know, keep that in mind if you're trying to take down an enemy sentry with a, you know, subsonic 300 blackout, you know, you're going to have to shoot him in the face or something. I don't know. But uh, very, very impressed. And, uh, I mean, this stuff is so lightweight, guys, and this little panel could fit, you know, in the back of a kid's backpack and might give him a chance. And God forbid in this day and age where we have these assholes, you know, school shooters and whatnot. So, um, anyways, I thought that was a, an exceptional, exceptional performance out of a level 3A uh, piece of armor. Um, the level three ballistic plate performed very well, I thought. It did not compromise until it hit the uh, M855. And, uh, you know, the website says, the company says it will not stop M855. So there was no shocker there, but it definitely stopped everything else that they advertised. Um, the level three plus definitely stopped M855. Stopped a few of them. Uh, eventually, one of them did penetrate through, though, after multiple, multiple hits. So... Not sure at what point the, the round actually penetrated, but you can see at each, you know, each impact, it left a deep cavity. So I suspect that a subsequent round went through one of those previous cavity, cavities that was formed from a uh, previous round. Uh, but nonetheless, it performed very well, I thought, for level three plus. If I had to choose between the two, um, I, I definitely think the level three plus um, for weight and whatnot, the uh, trade-off is definitely worth it. So if you can save a few extra bucks to get the level three plus, that's definitely the way to go. Uh, there is a level four plate. I don't have it. It's, it's advertised to stop 30-06 armor piercing rounds. Um, obviously more protection, but it does weigh more. Um, how many people do I know that run around with 30-06 armor piercing rounds? <laughs> None. <laughs> Are there some out there? Sure, but uh, I don't know any. Um, I will say though, there is plenty of people that shoot M855. And uh, it's readily available and it's relatively inexpensive, or at least it was before, you know, all the craziness happened with COVID and riots and all that stuff. So, you know, eventually the prices will hopefully go back down on that stuff. And uh, long story short, a lot of people have it. So I think it's definitely worth it to get the level three plus armor. So that's my two cents. Nonetheless, guys, I will have a link to where you can get this uh, armor in the description box, as well as the uh, link comment in the comment section. So thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to leave a comment.